<laughs> it's the weekend. I'm off to Munich to watch the footy. Bayern Munich versus Hamburg. I'm meeting my workmates Danny and Timo at the match. German football is really interesting because it's yet another German success story. Look at this, I've got tickets for this big games, 15 euros for really good seats. I mean, that's way cheaper than the Premier League. Unlike the freewheeling world of the English Premier League, where anyone can own anything, the German Bundesliga is a bit more restrained, a bit like German Mittelstand companies like Faber Castell. Who owns the club here? Who owns Bayern Munich? I mean, the, the members do, really. I mean, you, uh, it is possible to, to sell shares of the club, but only uh, to a certain extent. So you, we have the so-called 50 plus one rule, which means that 50% plus one share have to uh, be owned in... By well, members by, of the by club. Members. So by ordinary fans, so how does that change the way do you think the decisions are made? Well, I think things like what's happening in many English football teams, just some billionaire from Russia or be it Malaysia or wherever, can change everything about the football team and has full control. And in Germany, this isn't so easy to do for the people with money. So it's more of a fan-based uh, structure. Really. So I've just got a chili knacker. It's like a chili sausage. Typical football weather, to be honest. Tod und hast dem TSV. Tod und hast dem TSV. Which uh, supporter are you? Arsenal. I have been there in... Yeah, you were there last week. You were there two weeks ago. You know, no, hey, you know Arsenal. 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 Hey, Timo. Oh, hey, how are you? Very good. Hi, hey, Danny, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. What about the weather? It's cold. Cold, cold. Yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cold. 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 Yeah, it's very cold. Oh, thank you. No problem. It was a historic game, 9-2 to Bayern Munich. 